Gun Young, brand yourself or be branded. What? Find out more in today's episode of Career Latte. Hi everybody, welcome to the third episode of Career Latte and today we're going to be talking about personal branding. I'm Bun Yong. And I'm Jeff. And today with us at the show, uh, we have Wei Li from Center for Career Readiness and she's the career educator. And then we have Fabian all right, from the ICT uh, SE program. And of course we have Joyce uh, from JV's Holding. All right, thank you uh, everyone for joining us in this show. So personal branding, I mean, when I first look at the word branding, I always think of cows and how people get branded. So it's, it's kind of violent, but perhaps we could start with um, our career education, our career trainer and debunking one of these myths or beliefs about what personal branding is. So oh. yeah. The myth as in, is to do with cows? <laughs> <laughs> Humans. Humans. Yeah. Um, okay. This, this is the first time I hear this analogy to cows, but I think mm. I see the association. Mm. Yeah. So like, let's say I over here, this is also a form of branding. Yeah. Just that for humans, um, it's not so direct. Mm. Yeah. Then, uh, how do we do branding, or at which point of time, uh, do we start branding ourselves? Like, mm. do we start from school, or do we start uh after graduation? So mm. I think these are some questions that we can ask ourselves. Yes, mm. um, but uh, my advice is uh, you should start early, right? So you should start right from school, even mm. before uh, we graduate. Right. Mm. Interesting point that you brought up, right? Uh, even before you graduate from school time, we should have that you know, slow build up the personal brand. Mm. Mm. So I understand that Fabian, you have mm -hmm. been um, yeah. starting some kind of um, social mm -hmm. presence yourself. Could you tell us more about it? Um, in <laughs> Some sort of social presence. I don't think I really have like that much of a social presence. Uh, maybe on LinkedIn, but I think I agree with what really said. Uh, what she mentioned in school, starting from school. Mm. Um, personally, I was from uh, Nian Police uh, School of Business Studies, essentially. Um, and I think I th that was the first time that my LinkedIn profile was like officially created. Yeah. Um, it was part of an assessment, right? Yeah. So, uh, my, my lecturer actually I go through each component so of. So, no assessment um, you won't do. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, exactly. No assessment <laughs> I won't do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, so that, that kind of really started, and um, that those are just little little things that uh we learn in school, and then we kind of pick up. And I don't really find the importance of it until like maybe towards the later years of like my university, and I realized oh I need to find jobs. I need to uh, look for like uh, internships and then it really hit me oh actually it was so useful and there are these little little techniques and skills that they teach right that uh, help me and help me realize that oh okay these are little things that might not seem very little well, to me. The concept of personal mm -hmm. branding you, because you mentioned about LinkedIn you mentioned yep. about online presence and mm -hmm. I think Wendy also mentioned about that then my, my question is then is it uh, purely mm -hmm. personal brand is purely just LinkedIn mm -hmm. or is it actually more maybe Joyce you can share with us and give us some more insight okay sure so for us um, as an employer right when we look at students or fresh graduates right we just okay first of all uh, definitely LinkedIn is for the first stop you would actually go and scan through the candidates right so what kind of mm -hmm. experience what course he has and what are the connections that he has in within this network mm -hmm. yeah. right. so for example if let's say um uh, Fabian has uh, um, done some mm -hmm. internship with certain companies and he has actually connection with uh, certain members of the organization that we would also, also like to work with, mm. then that might be a, uh, putting him in the forefront of other candidates. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty interesting that you also talk about how mm. um, LinkedIn might be the first and there might also be other social media platforms that mm. you guys might look at. Yes. So, so uh, for example, uh, if let's say we are looking for marketing students, mm. we also uh, come through the TikTok as well mm. as uh, Instagram to see oh. how do they personalize, personify themselves as well as other works that have, they have done previously with other organizations. So you're looking at their TikTok. Mm -hmm. If they dance funny stuff and and, and do yeah, but, funny but we, we don't judge them. Yeah, because they're still <laughs> <laughs> <they're laughs> <they're laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. That, that's good to know. Okay, so um, I have this question where you know, have you ever met uh, any candidates, right? Mm. Like on, on social uh, media, you know, in terms of presence and everything, it looks very, um, you know, super tip top. Mm. But then you see them in person, is there's a mismatch on the, the, the one that you see? Uh, yes, actually, in fact, right, some of them, okay, there are a few instances that we interview uh, the candidates. So we look through their uh, TikTok profile, the funds that they have actually being recorded over there. And when we interview them in person, right, 
it's actually they are introvert. They don't really exhibit that kind of behavior or the kind of image that we actually see from social media platforms. Right. So, so mm-hmm. what kind of impression that you have? Uh, maybe peer pressure that they have to personify themselves in that manner, mm-hmm. or uh, because it is in trend. So I'm just wondering, is it more yeah. like an authentic kind of feel, like you want someone who's authentic in, in the yeah, approach? Yeah, because um, for us, right... Um, it's it, okay, no, you can mm-hmm. just say, it's this show can <laughs> yeah. say and then it's okay, we you won't know, get don't hurt. don't offend every... Yeah. No, 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 For example, um, some famous band, um, band like uh, Blackpink, they started some trend, right, for example. So yeah. everyone wants to be associated with that, so they will do similar videos, you know, to, like the dance move or that right on mm. this platform but when you look at them in actual right mm-hmm. they actually are quite mild toned down they don't really do that on their own so yeah. you expect them to be like that also you know all pumped up yeah because that. I would mm. expect that, you know because I interview you because I review your social media right, I would expect you to be in that manner uh. but no mm-hmm. yeah so the alignment uh, so so maybe uh, Wendy, because Wendy, uh you, you, you conduct a career skills workshop and I also understand uh, in terms of personal branding uh, workshops mm-hmm. on that as well so um, how how can actually students then narrow that kind of uh, difference in their or how they can actually build or align their in-person and online presence okay um, I think what, what I'm hearing is a few things uh. mm-hmm. so I think firstly um uh, I understand that say on TikTok we do project a certain image. So let's say if I'm doing a black pink video, mm. so definitely my energy level is very high. Yeah, this mm-hmm. branding, is it? yeah sorry. Okay, this no one. <laughs> 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 yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, I, heard I, I read that somewhere. Okay, yeah. but um, the thing is that uh, but when it comes to interview, because I join, mm. I, I I I suppose um that encounter will be an interview. Mm. So I think um some of us we may have uh, a preference for introversion mm. but mm. i think when it comes to interview it is also important to keep the energy up mm. Mm. yeah so um yeah right so i think even for those of us who have preference mm. for introversion introversion like myself for instance mm. yeah we do we still can do uh extroverted things very mm. well mm. yeah uh, when we are very well prepared mm-hmm. yeah so I, I think I know what Joyce is looking for mm-hmm. during the view so it feels like there's a shortfall yeah. there's a gap mm-hmm. yeah so um, so it's important that uh, we are aware what we are projecting let's say online so whether it's on LinkedIn or TikTok or other social media platforms so if this is certain mm-hmm. image or percentage you are projecting then be sure that uh is something that we're also uh, projecting to others offline as well mm-hmm. right. yeah so I think authenticity like what Benyong mm-hmm. mentioned is very important Yes. I'm also wondering, maybe for the younger generation like Fabian, mm-hmm. you might, you know, when you're called out for an interview, yeah. you might just think it's an interview. Probably uh-huh. what you're looking for is an audition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm just wondering, <laughs> yeah. uh, what, what do you think about this? Yeah. Um, I think maybe uh, maybe TikTok is a bit more like an extreme um, scenario per se, because, um, you know, maybe on TikTok, they might be uh, the, ex- the extroverter, you know, they might be that, uh, like, he he ha ha, that smiley. Then maybe sometimes they might have, like, spotlight syndrome, oh. right? Maybe when they are um, interviewing uh, with, like, other companies and think, mm. oh, is this the sort of, like, the online social media kind of, like, personality they want to portray? Mm. Yeah, maybe some form, if you're looking for, like, uh, assessment for them, for, like, a marketing role, essentially. So maybe you can give some, a bit of, like, a take-home assignment, mm. yeah, to, like, more assess them more, like, um, holistically, la, right? Uh, maybe off the camera, you might not be this person. Uh, you don't have this personality, mm-hmm. but maybe like when uh, you can still produce a very good work for like the company that you want to internet. Actually, actually Fabian brought mm-hmm. up a very good point yeah. because mm-hmm. it means to say that you are, you know, in terms of let's say, uh, in terms of performance mm-hmm. or in terms of your persona in uh, on on TikTok or any other social media, um, it's something that you can do. You can you can project. Mm-hmm. At the same time, you can also choose to actually. Um, project another uh, different side of you mm-hmm. and yet you don't lose that you know that identity mm-hmm. I think that that is important because for certain uh, jobs maybe that that is the requirement mm-hmm. but before I continue I've got to apologize to the Blackpink um, uh, fans, fans first <laughs> <laughs> no offense yeah, at all yeah, I no love no Blackpink also yeah. I think uh, one, one point from the company uh, perspective is right we want to find the right fit right not only in terms of skill set but the match between the dynamic of the team mm. so, ah, right, okay, okay. so if let's say I do not know what is your true self so when you come to like maybe a misfit with the team that I miss mm. yeah, not ah. just of the skill set itself oh okay so mm-hmm. so at interview uh, we are mm-hmm. looking at uh, the, the candidate and mm. then we are not just assessing the competencies and everything else yes. but very much on, on uh, the persons when if you put this person into the into the team how mm-hmm. it will kind of uh, change the dynamics right so it's important for them to be authentic yes. in, in a way mm-hmm. and and if, if let's say uh, if 
let's say like, I mean they, they, they show that they are very energetic very pumped up you know uh, through those social media maybe, maybe not, uh, not not TikTok maybe some other social media that mm. they can show that you know they are very good in presentation and stuff like that but in person you may not find it they, they, they may not find it them that way mm. so how else can they uh, some kind of uh, prepare themselves mm. um, so first of all right uh, when we, whenever we conduct an interview mm. we will ask the student first of all to do a personality test so that we can based on their MBTI to actually match them to the mm. role that they are in mm. and number two right we will have a, a, a senior person to guide them mm. and then to actually um, ease them into the role that they are in in our co- company and for one one case uh, we have in JVs is the student is actually very introverted, mm. so he hardly speaks up. He always wears a mask. So what do we do? We actually play games within the organization to break the ice. He always and wears a mask. Yeah, he always wears a mask. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Face uh, face mask, right? Half Covid mask. syndrome. <laughs> yeah, okay, but he refuses to speak <laughs> really, really. So okay. uh, for that, right, in order to help him to get uh, out of the situation and get comfortable within the uh, team of interns, right, so mm-hmm. we actually play games and then open him up with all this uh, interaction with the other team members. Wow, mm-hmm. you all go to the extent. Uh, yeah, to actually organized. groom him for success. Yes. Mm. Mm. Right, right. Yes. Wow, okay. That's, that's, mm. that's really good to know. Yeah. Now, commercial break. We've got an exciting PNS coming up. This is professional networking skills workshop happening in January 2024 just to prepare you for Korea Nexus. Now for more information, please check out the link in the description box. Back to the show. Okay, so, so in terms of a person, right? When, mm. um, when you say personal branding, right? Mm. So what other aspect of a personal brand that you, you, you is important at the workplace? Uh, to highlight the skill set and strength of individuals. Yeah. You, their, their own, you mean showing? Yeah, showing. Demonstrating? That, yeah, demonstrating and also the mindset, right, of the individual. They have to be there to show that I can do it, I'm willing to do it and not expecting uh, to be spoon-fed or that. So these are the kind of images that we look for in individuals. Also, now, now we are not just talking about this mm-hmm. skill set, we're talking about att- attributes mm-hmm. and, and all this, um, you know, kind of mindset. Yes. So yeah. like, like growth mindset, yeah? Uh, growth mindset, yes, and uh, really the can-do attitude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like uh, a lot of university or um, uh, other universities, or also other schools, right? Mm. some of the students that came in, right, um, expect things to be, uh, you know, hand over to them, you know, expect them to, you, them to be told what to do, whatever. So for SIT uh, students that we have worked with, we just tell them the outcome that we want. They have to mm-hmm. figure out, go and research, right, and then uh, propose a solution to get it done. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So, sounds like you have a very good impression of our students. Right? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. hey, Fimen, yeah. Um mm-hmm. so, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to give you this opportunity to ask, okay. you know, since we have a career educator, yes. we have uh, uh, our industry partner here, Joyce, mm-hmm. uh, maybe one uh, question that you would like mm-hmm. to, to ask to enhance your yeah. personal brand. Okay. Or is there, okay, is there, is there yeah. like any specific like deadlines or like profiles that you are looking for when scanning through like candidates? Mm. Uh, because we all know right from like the company's perspective, you know, there are mm. probably like hundred thousands of applicants. Mm. What are the you have to scan through like a lot of applicants very quickly? What are like some of the key things that you know you pick up and then yeah, yeah this might be the one that is like uh, for this position. Mm. Uh, okay, from company point of view, right? Mm. So we will look at the projects that you have done, mm. right? Real uh, use case that you have completed, not just okay. on theory or um, uh, thesis or that, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Maybe uh, can I add on? Yes, please. Um, I think one important aspect would be uh, what we call the USP, your mm. unique selling point. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so um, like for instance, like while we want to stand out, then we also uh, want to present our true self because um, like what Joy say, uh, the dynamics is very important. What you bring to the team, the energy and your personality that I bring to the team. So uh, you, I think as a, as a candidate or as a person, you have to be very clear, your strengths, your weakness, mm. yeah, and all this. So like for instance, like just like you mentioned, mm-hmm. like, um, like play games, like to um, let's say break the ice or the daily uh, stand up and all this mm. right so I think maybe for some of us uh, who feels a little shy to us wow that sounds like very challenging like stepping out of comfort zone mm. yeah, but I think that would be a good step mm. yeah to, to ease mm. out of the comfort zone mm. and then gradually be comfortable so it's a bit like growth mindset what we talk about mm. yeah so mm-hmm. uh, we can always grow uh, into a role or grow into let's say uh, an area that previously doesn't feel so comfortable for us 
Yeah, because uh, one thing is that even those for us uh, who have a preference for introversion, we also right, have the other side, which is extroversion as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's sometimes that we just need to learn to flex the extroverted side of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be comfortable with that. Mm. Yeah. I, I guess it's time for us to you know, jump to the very, very quick break with the hot <laughs> sip <laughs> segment. Yeah, yeah, hot sip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no. Uh, before I take my hot seat, uh, okay, mm. this is what we're gonna do. Like, I think if you have watched the first two episodes, you will know exactly what we are doing here. This is the hot seat segment. We're gonna draw one of these questions posed by the students, and we're gonna pose these questions to our guests, and you know, we're gonna ask them for their insights. Okay, so I uh, yeah, definitely written. Okay. All right, so uh, this question is from uh, Chiam Jia Ting. Chiam Jia Ting is from the uh, Sus Sustainable Infrastructure Engineering Program, LAN program. So the question is very simple. What are the important skills we need for our IWSP positions? So uh, IWSP has this Integrated Work Study Program. Now for this question, right, I think we can actually connect it with um, you know our topic, which is personal branding. So um, what are some, okay, so if, if I'm developing my personal brand, um, you know, and what kind of skills do you think, um, you know, we can use to, you know, can help us or um, highlight our strength and things like that? Uh, maybe we'll start with Joyce? Mm, I think first of all, right, uh, uh, resonate with yourself, right, what is your strength? Mm -hmm. Okay, and number two, right, uh, set up a LinkedIn account. Yeah, okay. you really mm. set up a bring link account and then we'll highlight, you know, because sometimes uh when the point when we re we really need to uh put in the strength, right? We need we need to uh, recall back. Mm. But if we do it a little bit at a time, it's not so painful. Oh, okay. So yeah. gra gradually develop that, that, that list of the strengths that they have. Mm. And mm. what kind of strengths will be enticing for employees? Um Okay, not afraid of getting uh, hands on 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 the task, mm. as well as of course the can do attitude. Mm. So for us in JVs, we value the, of course, uh, knowledge and uh, education is definitely important. Right. But the attitude is the most important of all. So you can be top graduate from schools, right? But if your attitude is not right, mm. we will not be taking it. So if if I could just ask, mm. then the, the, how do you see those attitudes? Like, is it through the post they made? about themselves and their involvement in different things or in s what other ways? Sometimes, right, if you, if you look at that LinkedIn account, the words that they use, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. is it really like um, self-promoting mm -hmm. or really just more inclusive? Mm -hmm. yeah, so some of these words that they use. So you read their posts? We do, we do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So okay. we are, if you are really interested in the candidate, we do. Because mm -hmm. it's almost like an investment into the candidate if they do join us. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe Fabian, you want to share with mm -hmm. us, uh, you know, what are some of the things that you've done on your LinkedIn, you know, to promote yourself? Understand. Um, so I that think Joyce can go and mm -hmm. look. Yeah. Look <laughs> 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 look yeah, yeah. I think when it comes to like um, what I try to sell or like what is like sort of um, like what we really mentioned USP, right, to mm -hmm. the organizations, I think it all starts with like getting to know about um, what you, who you really are as a person and like what are sort of the things that you can contribute mm. and I think from there onwards we can start uh, sort of like building our profile if you are in year one you can start mm. um, like doing some of the uh, projects you know like what um, Joyce mentioned very hands-on experience that's something that employers these days are out to look for they want to see okay this person can do stuff uh, can do work uh, we want to hire them as like an intern to not only um, provide value to a company and also as a company we are able to like train you and hopefully like, give back to you in some sense and you know, uh, a lot of like other best B uh, students actually get converted full time. Yeah, but so yeah, from there really get to know what are your like unique selling points and then try to build on your profile from there, right? Mm. Uh, if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, just create it right now. Yeah. And you don't have to be like best, you know, LinkedIn mm. influencer in over like uh, a day or something. You mm. can. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a LinkedIn influencer? Yeah, it's called <laughs> LinkedIn. Influencer. Oh. Influencer. Yeah. So, so you're working towards mm -hmm. that, lah. Yeah, la, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so after this Slowly. show, <laughs> you're flash Fabian. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> not on track. You scan, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I think on LinkedIn, I just post the occasional like uh things are uh, like I'm um, joining company, it's the stuff like that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. LinkedIn doesn't have to be very cringy. If um some of the students out there might feel like oh LinkedIn, everyone there is self bragging stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's not really. Um, it's, you can uh put. Uh, some of the achievements of the projects that you have worked on on there, you know, 
Just like potential employer know, oh, okay, this person has done this, blah, 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 and this, and yeah. it's a fit Actually, what the company. Actually, is talking about this, uh, it, it kind of occurs to me that sometimes mm. it can make or break also. It depends mm. on what you, 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 you post. You post yeah. And sometimes what you post may have an impact on mm. some people that you, you, you are not aware of. Uh, maybe what you can share with us some, maybe some of the precautions that we should, we should take then. Because LinkedIn mm. posts, uh, sometimes we get to see a post where it may not be suitable. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so, yes. and, and maybe some advice for citizens. Yes, um, definitely sometimes in our enthusiasm to share. Mm. Yes, uh, especially we know that uh, we have a loyal follower, followers following, mm. right? People following us. Hey, mm. they want to read and I thought, all. Uh, for a moment, I thought lawyers follow. <laughs> 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 you can get sued. <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> Flowing, yeah. Okay. So, um, I think one key point here is the confidentiality. Mm. Yes, mm. especially if you're already working in a company, right? Mm. You are in certain projects and all. Yeah, but while it's good to share that you are working on certain projects, but certain ah, details, okay. yeah, mm. we shouldn't put into our, mm. our LinkedIn post. PDPA. Mm. Mm. Yeah, PDPA. Mm. Yeah, it's very important. It's important to respect that of the company. Mm. Yeah, mm. so perhaps like what you might want to highlight instead of um, the details of the project maybe is the teamwork. Um, mm, or the qualities. collaboration, the qualities. Mm, oh, okay. Yeah, the yeah. These are the qualities that you want to highlight. Hey, like for instance, I collaborated uh, with mm. this division, or um, mm. let's say uh, with this team member, and together uh, we go into problem solving or certain something like this, or like we we uh take part in the decision making or certain. Yeah, I think this is what you want to highlight instead. So mm. that that will help. Uh, that will be a good post. At the same time, mm. uh, you are also not disclosing uh, inappropriate uh details. So, Josh, yeah. are you concerned if, let's say, your staff mm. sort of mm-hmm. post things about company? I mean, they, they work. It's not, not a bad intention, yeah. but they do. But what are some of the things that you, you may want your staff to take note of? Okay, Maybe so uh, whether they are interns or our staff, right? So all public uh, publication, right, have to be approved by us. That's ah, one. Okay. And number two, all its interns and staff will have to sign an NDA. So they cannot post because we are a startup. So a lot of things that we do, uh, filing for patents. So right. patents pending. So we don't allow this information to be spread out into the public yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you uh, N N D A. Yes, N D A. disclosure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Fabian, uh, let's say if you uh meet with uh, someone, let's say a mm-hmm. industry partner, a potential employer, mm-hmm. um, or maybe your your peers even, uh, what kind of uh, personal brand uh you want to leave mm-hmm. with them? Uh, what what do you think uh, they should be thinking of you, uh, or maybe what they uh, what kind of uh, uh, how do they perceive you as a <laughs> you know a professional? I understand. Um, I think I can pretty much uh, agree with what um, Joyce and Willie have just mentioned, right? Uh, and because we're in uh, SIT, right, School of Applied Learning, I personally have like tried to apply some of these uh, sort of theories or like um, things um, in person as well at Career Nexus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um. When I, you know, approach companies there or I talk to the HR people there, mm-hmm. um, I think personal branding in terms of like offline personal branding is um, how you carry yourself, um, how you dress up, and the way you communicate with them, right? Whether you're making that sort of like connection. Mm-hmm. So usually the kind of like impressions that I want to give to HR people is to show that I'm really interested, ask more about, you know, what are some of the cultures, the values that they have, what they do at the company to show that you have that form of like interest. Mm-hmm. From there, you can build on the rapport and make that connection with them. Yeah, so, and I think that's very helpful when, you know, when you're applying for internships or, like, applying for jobs. That it makes that uh, re- re- resonation, that connection with the potential employer. And that's most of the time um, the sort of, like, impressions that you wish to leave. And, and they, they kind of remember you better when they receive your resume, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you, you kind of can put a face uh, to the name that you see, you know, the resume. is just like, oh, there's no face. Who is this person? Oh, Fabian Chua, I've talked with him uh, at the Korean Nexus. And he's selling like himself now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Potential <laughs> employers. You're taking this opportunity, so later scan QR code. Yeah. To yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, LinkedIn profile. Yes, you could also follow him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think we can sum up that uh, personal mm. branding, we, we definitely have to have a balance uh, mm. in terms of uh, in person, mm. in terms of uh, online, online. Mm. and of course, uh, while we are developing that, that brand, we also must be very uh, aware of you know how. Uh, how you know uh, how to continuously uh, maintain it, or if if not enhanced it, mm-hmm. uh, and I, we hear from the the uh, industry experts as well as the career educator and from students themselves. So I think it's important to start to um, you know do some homework about as, uh, assessing yourself about the preparation. You know, yeah, the preparation mm-hmm. of your brand. 
Uh, and of course, you definitely can seek out your career coach's help. Mm. Uh, you know, in, in terms of developing your brand and get them to kind of uh, you know talk to them. I think that's that's very important. Yeah. So we've kind of you know reached the end of Career Latte. This is the third and final episode, but probably we're gonna have more seasons coming up. Yep. Who knows? So once again, I'd like to uh, thank your. Um, support as all the ends so please continue to like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel mm. all right so uh, we'd like to thank our guests one more time yeah. the final you. guest appearance <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bunyo and I'm Jeff and we'll see you next season bye, bye. are you still there okay right I think I know what you're looking for and that's the contest Here's the question, and if you know the answer to this question, check out the link in the description box for a chance to win some exciting vouchers. All the best.